show starting on Hobby Maker Monday to Friday from 6am until 8am featuring loads of new things. The early bird special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show, Who the Hobby Maker Are You, a slightly extended interview with our guest designers, Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries and a sneak peek. The final 20 minutes of the show letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. on Hobby Maker. I think I'll get five more Zs in. Well, a very, very good morning to you and welcome from everybody here at Hobby Maker. You are, of course, watching Wake Up with Hobby Maker. And as always, we've got a show cram packed with crafty guests, crafty demos, and of course, some fantastic crafty chat. My name is Ben Murray. If you're not familiar with me, don't worry, because you're going to get to know me very well indeed over the next couple of hours. And we have in the studio with us as well our crafty guest, which is Claire Donnelly. Morning, Claire. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And welcome back to the show. You have, of course, been on here before. I have, yes. This is my first uh, early morning wake up one, but yeah. um, nice and uh, early get up for this this morning. But, Absolutely. Um... Well, that's what we like to hear. And don't forget, of course, Wake Up with Hobby Maker is all about being interactive because it's about the craft. Yeah. It's about the crafty chat yeah. and it's about you guys at home as well. So we'd love to hear from you. We would love to drop you, a you to drop us a message. Now that's really, really straightforward to do. All you need to do is pop onto our website, which is www.hobbymaker.co.uk and you'll see in the top right hand corner of the screen there where you can log in if you have an account. So just log in and you click stream the watch now, watch live. And you'll see as well, there's a little box there to the right saying good morning at the moment, and you can drop us a message. Now that will come straight to us here at Hobby Maker HQ and straight to the studio. Now, of course, if you don't have an account, why not? Where, where have you been? It's really, really easy to create an account. Just pop in to the website and below login, you'll see register. And all you need to do is pop in your name and email address and, of course, choose a password. And you're good to go. Uh, you can also, of course, drop us an email, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. And we absolutely love receiving messages and content, of course, from our crafty viewers. You might want to send us your latest crafty make. Uh, you might want to show us your craft studio uh, you might want to ask Claire some questions ask some questions about some of the products we've got coming up later on the show or you might want to send us some crafty hints and tips yes might you lovely. so whatever you want to do messages now because it's my first show today um, the powers that be upstairs have very kindly agreed to chuck in a 25 quid credit to somebody's account. Um, and the way that's gonna work is all you need to do is buy something in this morning's show. And we'll pick a winner at random and we'll announce it this afternoon on one of the shows. So, what are you waiting for? All the items that are available on the show later today are going to be available on the website on pre-order. So, of course, there's a couple of ways you can order. You can do it, of course, online, which is really, really straightforward. And don't forget as well, you can contact us directly here at our UK call centre, which is open 24 hours a day. And it's just upstairs in the building, actually. Uh, and you'll see the number there on the screen. So I think that's enough from me, don't you? <laughs> um, now, before we, uh, we get chatting to Claire, I think it's always good to introduce you to everybody here that makes the show. So we've got a couple of cameras knocking about. I think we've got, have we got a studio cam? We've got the studio. Where is it? Where is it? I'm not sure. But we've got, we've got Paul over there, Paul. Morning, Paul. Give us a wave. And then we've got Handsome Dan. Where's Handsome Dan hiding? Where is he? Here he is. <laughs> got blue piercing eyes apparently I can see them from here they're like gemstones and of course not forgetting of course the powers that be as well hiding away in their ivory tower gallery there they are it's Laura and Adam morting morning, morning. <laughs> oh look he's spinning he's doing a, he's doing a pirouette he's spin on his chair <laughs> double spin from Adam absolutely fantastic so without further ado that's enough from me shut up Ben <laughs> It's time to have a chat with our crafty guest. 
So we've got, of course, Claire Donnelly. And Claire is from Native Lighting. I am, yes. Good morning, good, good morning. morning. <laughs> so, Claire, for anybody that's not familiar with you, yes. uh, just tell us a little bit about um, Native Lighting and what your sort of background is. So I've been in the lighting industry for the last 15 years. Okay. Um, so I worked for a lighting company for, for 10. Yeah. Um, and then I got headhunted by a commercial lighting company and went to work for them for a year. Really missed talking to all my people that use my lights, going to the exhibitions, interacting with people that actually use my lights, whereas the, the other job you were dealing with specifiers and architects, and you just didn't have that same contact with people, yes, and yes. actually ending up talking to the end user, that actually, you guys, that actually bought the lights and, and, and used to use them. And I really missed that. Mm. Um, and then after a year, I just thought, what do I want, want to do? And an opportunity came up and um, I started Native Lighting. Wow. And that was, that was three years ago. So wow. <laughs> I got approached by a company who said, would um, I help them with distribution? They heard that I was the lighting lady in the UK. The lighting lady. Yeah, it's we quite like funny. That. A lot of people at the exhibition are like, oh, you're the lighting lady. <laughs> so I've been sort of known as the lighting lady o o over the years. And um, I said, look, I'm happy to help you, but it needs to be under my own brand. And, you know, w w we'll see where we can go from there. So that was um, three months before the pandemic hit. Wow. So a bit of a crazy time time to start a business but um but it's worked out really really well worked out really well and here you are and here i am on the premiere crafting channel and the hobby channel i know I like yes uh, so there we go um now oh uh, laura's just told me it's it's actually it's what it's national random random acts of light day. ah have you just been typing that in laura is that, <laughs> is that, i didn't know that <laughs> it's also apparently National Throw an Axe Day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll stick with the lighting on that one, Laura. I've actually yeah. done that. Actually. Paul, put that axe down <laughs> over there. When we went to Edinburgh, we actually went on an axe throw. National Vanilla Milkshake Day. Um. National, so, if, if, is, when, when's National National Day? Yeah. That's, that's, what I want to know. that's what I want to know. So how was your journey here this morning? Very good? I stayed overnight in the hotel, so um, it was quite... Uh, well, I arrived last night and there was a, a wedding going on with a very loud disco and I was a little bit like, oh my goodness, I need to get up at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> there was no point going to bed. No, this, no, but um, they put me in the furthest room away, which was very kind of them and um, I got got some I had to watch Love Island first and then got some sleep. Oh Love Island. <laughs> oh, I've got all the Love Island viewers out there. <laughs> we don't want to know what happens. You've not everybody no, has seen it. No. So not everybody wants to know. So so no no breakers. We, no spoilers. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. That was that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We, we we don't. You don't want to hear what I can hear. So we're, we're not we're not going to go. We're not going to go we're into gonna that. We're going to go there. <laughs> so in terms of native lighting, then, which is obviously the business yes. that you started, that's gone from strength to strength. I it, understand. Yeah, it's gone from strength to strength. Um, we're really strong in in the craft world. Okay. Um, we also work a lot in um, the low vision world. Okay. So we adapt a lot of lights so that that people with um, that are visually impaired can can use the lights, and we put a lot of braille buttons and things like that on them so that they're able to use oh, our that's lights. that's a very clever idea. And um, we've recently just launched in the beauty industry as well. Wow. So, um, so yeah, as each year we're sort of like, you know, getting into another sector and another wow. sector. And uh, So you're conquering the world. We are. We've just moved into a new warehouse wow. as well. So uh, I'm not sure there was pictures of me driving the fork truck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> recently. Um, but, yeah, so, no, it's all good. I love good. what I do. And I think, you know, when, when, when you're doing something, that you love what you do and I love the fact that we're making we're making products that help people do what they love yes. um, and, and over the years I've met so many people at the exhibitions that mm. have said uh, they had to give up what they love doing because they couldn't see very well or they were struggling with the light and it's so nice now to get all the messages from people saying um, once we had your light, we were able to go back to doing what we loved mm. and, and continue crafting. Yeah, so it, yeah. it's, it's really nice to hear all of those things. Well, it makes such a big difference as well. I mean, my, my eyes are not too clever anymore. And uh, uh, about two years ago, I ended up wearing reading glasses for the yeah. first time. And what I found as well was that the, being in somewhere bright mm. as well made a huge, huge difference yeah. to what I could see and what I couldn't see, um, even with 
the reading glasses. Yeah. So I think it's really, really important mm. to have the right sort of lighting. And of course, the right sort of lighting isn't necessarily the same sort of lighting no. for every task. Excuse me a second. Mm. My earpiece keeps popping out there at the moment. Um, and so the same sort of lighting doesn't suit all... No, and that's quite a big thing that, that makes um, native lighting quite unique to a lot of the other lighting companies out there. Mm -hmm. Is the majority of our lights all have um, a minimum of three different colours. Okay. So we have daylight, which is really important for your, for your colour matching. Yes, of course. Um, we also have warm light, if people maybe want to sort of have an ambient light and not actually be using it for their crafting. And we have cool light as well. Right. And then we have various different uh, brightness settings. So that okay. means that people maybe with some kind of eye conditions can normally find a light light that's comfortable for their eyes yes. so our best selling lamp um, is a Lumina and that has like five different 25 different settings on there 25 different yeah. settings so is that a combination of brightness and yes color? Yeah, so that's got five colours and each colour has five different brightnesses. So, yeah, you're always going to find a, a light that is suitable for, for your eyes. So, wow. Um, wow. And you've got such a wide range. We're going to be ha having a look at uh, uh, some more of the range a little bit later, but we've yeah. got quite a wide range. So something for everybody, really. Yeah, it's, um, definitely. So if you've never sort of like used a, a light before, um, We've got so many different types. We've got rechargeable ones. We've got USB powered. We've got mains powered. Uh, we take everything into account. Um, we think about where you're going to be doing your crafting, mm. where you're going to be sitting. And that's a, a key thing when you're buying a light is to think about how do I want to use it? Do mm. I want to be able to take it with me? Does it need mm. to be portable? Mm. Um, am I going to sometimes be at a table, sometimes in a chair? Because sometimes you might, you know, again, you might not be in your craft room. You might exactly. be going off to a craft exhibition. You might be staying in a hotel. Or classes. You might be in your motor home yep. or caravan. Yeah. Um, even just in your living room, you might have a tray that you want yep. to work so off many, of. Yeah. Yeah, so many like different that, things. And light accessible for that. Yeah, and one of the, the key things that we, we've tried to do is to, to make the lights um, sort of like feel nice and to fit into the home. Mm. So mm. in the past, the crafting sort of lamps that have been available have been quite sort of clunky, clinical yes. looking. Yes. So we've tried to go down the route of, of, of different colours, not always just white, mm -hmm. um, having, having different colours and making them look aesthetically pleasing. Yes. So they do look nice in a home setting as well yes. as just being there for your crafting. Yes, because I've seen some of the old lighting that you used to be able to get for crafting. Mm. And that, you know, they doubled as a light and sort of a, a safety device. If somebody broke into your house, you can <laughs> cloak them <laughs> yeah. with it. Whereas sort of the lighting that I've seen in the studio today is much more sleek, yeah. modern, um, and you know, I think lightweight as well, feels yeah. very light. I mean, that, that's come from um, LEDs, basically. Mm. So since the, the obviously uh, LEDs have become come obviously the main thing, all our lighting is LED. Um, so it uses much less power. Um, it doesn't generate any heat. And the fact that they're so much smaller and you don't have to house a great big light bulb, it means that you can actually, we can have much smaller, sleek designed lights because yes. the LEDs are so much smaller. And of course, not only are they smaller, often they're brighter. They're brighter, and, yeah. And they're all important uh, energy environment at the moment, they use much saving less energy. your money on yep. your energy bill. So that's a real, real bonus, isn't it? It is. And things like a lot of our lights are rechargeable or USB powered. Yep. So if, if you're using one of our USB powered lights, it might mean that you plug it into your sewing machine or into your laptop or your computer, mm -hmm. then you're not using another energy source. Yes. So again, that's saving, saving you money because if you're using the USB in, in something else that you're powering, then you're not obviously powering to, to apply at the same time. Absolutely. So, so many uses, so many colours, so many brightnesses, yeah. uh, and so many designs as yeah. well, which we're going to take. There's, uh, there's a lot more to lighting than just, just oh, it's just a light and it's going to help me be able to see. <laughs> so. And, you know, uh, yeah, absolutely. I've just been told that everything's gone on to pre-order now. So if you want to have a browse and see what we've got on the show, you can visit the website, hobbymaker.co.uk. Uh, click Watch Live and you'll see everything that's available on the show underneath in pre-order. And we've got quite a wide selection. And again, they're LED. We've got a mixture of mains powered. We've got a mixture as well of the, uh, of the battery power, the rechargeable, yeah. I should call it. And again, a wide range of brightnesses and colours. So you going to find something for you. Um, so let's start off first of all with the floor lamps. I noticed we've got the floor lamps here uh, next to us and these are some of the ones that we were just talking about. And yeah. 
Uh, just just talk us a little bit through these. Okay, um, so this sorry. is actually one of our best-selling lights. This is the, the Lumina lamp. The Lumina. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, so what you get with the Lumina is you, you get, the, get the floor stand. I'm mm -hmm. just going to move over a little bit and show okay. you how it works. So it's really <laughs> flexible, this yeah. lamp. So what's ideal about this one is if you're sat in a chair, you put the lamp literally over where you're working. Um, You've got on the control panel here, you've got different colours. So this is the one that's got five different colours. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to, you can see, I think there, it's just changing. You put your finger on there and you change it to warm light, cool light and daylight. And then there's a couple of different ones in between there. And then each colour has got five brightness settings. So that's on the brightest one there. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. And then if we just go back to the brightest one, and then we'd change the colours as well. Mm -hmm. So there you've got the different colours there. So you've got quite a wide range. So how many colour <coughs> choices have we got? So we've got five colour choices. Five on that And one. then okay. each colour has five brightness levels. So this is the one okay. that's got 25, 25. colour settings. Okay. And this one is called the... This is the Lumina floor lamp. The Lumina floor lamp. Yeah. The Lumina floor, floor lamp. It so also, this is the black one. That's the black one. But and we it, also have it... In white. In white as well. You. Yeah. And it also comes with a remote control mm -hmm. as well. So if we just aim that at the, the lamp there, okay. you can see the colours changing as I'm changing the colours on there. Um, that's 20% brightness, that's 50% brightness, and that's 100% brightness yeah. on there. You've also got a couple of timers, so you've got mm -hmm. a 60-second timer and a 10-minute timer. Okay. And you've got your buttons for your different colours and your brightness. Then mm -hmm. you've got a night light, so you just pop it onto the night light, it just gives you a bit of a glow yes. around the outside there. Then you've got your different colours and then your brightnesses there as well. So you can power it from this, or you can yeah. power it from, from the um, panel that you've got on the actual pole sure. there as well. So you've got a couple of choices there, really, really handy. Um, so just talk us through some of the, because we've got a range of different colours there. Yeah. Just talk us through some of the benefits of some of the different colours, why we would use the daylight yeah. the colour so, and so on. Okay, so daylight is the perfect colour for colour matching mm -hmm. so particularly if you're working with say uh, blacks or people wouldn't think there's that many different versions of white but mm. there is lots yeah. of different versions of mm. white mm. so it may well be that you know you're working on a, on a cross stitch yeah. or you're working on um, a, a, a card that you're making and you need to match the colors of the mm. card or mm. glitters or, or glues or anything that you need to match so the daylight will give you the same type of light as if you were outside at noon Okay. Um, on, a, on a sunny day. Right. Uh, so no more sort of holding things up to the window to colour match them because you've got exactly that um, by having it on the daylight setting. Um, some people use these as up lighters right. because you can obviously lift it up like okay. this and you can yeah. have it up. So people then may want to light something up they've got on the wall. Oh, um, it may be then that you'll put the warm setting on um, and then that gives sure. you like the, the nice ambient feeling. You might not be crafting any longer and then you want to turn turn it right down and just have have the light on in the room so it's just like a nice yeah, light in the yeah, room for yeah. so you like mood lighting mood lighting really? yeah 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 but I like the sound of that another thing that people do say is brilliant with this lamp mm -hmm. is that it doesn't bother anybody else in the room right. so i know that that's something that people used to say to me quite a lot is particularly ladies used to say their husbands used to say their light interfered with the television <laughs> they'd get really upset yeah. so if we've all been there <laughs> yeah. we've all been there claire yeah. So if you had this <laughs> and then you angle it down just on you, yes. you can see once you go out here, there's, there's no light. So you're not disturbing anybody else. So you yeah. can quite happily carry on with, with whatever you want to do. And then they can't say that the light is affecting the television. Absolutely. And of course, you can use it in any room in the house. So, yeah. of course, you might use it in your craft room. You might use it in your lounge. You could use it for reading. Yeah. You might use it in your bedroom. It's, it's used a lot for reading. Because it's got a timer on it as well, you mentioned. Yep, it's got a little timer on for us. So, so, obviously, 60 seconds, that's not very long. No. But the 10 minute timer, it may be that, you know, you've been crafting right early into the morning and like, I'm just going to do 10 more minutes or I'm just going to read in bed for 10 more minutes and, the, and then it goes off. Then you have to stop once it goes off. So Wow. So it's really, really flexible. I love the fact that you can bend the neck. I love the fact that you can bring it down low. Mm -hmm. I love the way that you can turn it yeah. by the way. You've got the different lighting settings, the brightnesses, the yeah. colours. It's not going to take up a lot of space either. No. It's in this very, very slim stylish sleek stand yeah and it's also got a very flat base as well so it will right. tuck underneath the sofa Brilliant. it's a weighted so you can base bring it right up to yeah you. 
right under the sofa. Yeah, you can and do that. Yeah, fantastic. And it's also, very weighty as well. It is, because obviously it needs to make sure it doesn't topple over. Yeah, sure. But it, although it's weighty, it's not too heavy that you couldn't move it from room to room. Oh, no, just the base. The yeah. base is nice. Away. Again, it's got a nice wide base to it, hasn't it? Mm. Um, and it's not going to fall over at the moment. No. Fantastic. So the information you've got on the screen at the moment is actually for the black one right uh, and we're going to pop the the white one on there as well so you'll be able to see that as well uh, in case you want either or even both mm. you might want to put one in your craft room you might want to put one in your lounge uh, or, or wherever you're going to put it yeah so you've got a couple of choices there uh, so you can see the details on your screen uh, if you like the look of these particular lamps don't hesitate to uh, pop those in your basket, of course. Uh, the code is Z, uh, sorry, ZVN160, um, and it's on split pay as well. So if you're not familiar with split pay, that means you can spread the payment uh, of various items available on Hobby Maker. And in this case, we've got uh, no interest, 0% interest, and you can split three payments. So that makes it much more affordable as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, in four weeks and then another four weeks. So the first one when you check out, uh, next one in four weeks and the one after that in the four weeks following. Um, and of course, you know, once you've purchased or checked out your basket uh, with the lamp and you decide a little bit later on, oh, do you know what, I I'll see something else later on Hobby Maker that I like the look of or something else later on the show. Remember on Hobby Maker, we have 395 all day post and packaging. So we're not gonna charge you any more for that. So of course you buy a product today, you pay you 3.95 from midnight last night through to midnight tonight, uh, you're gonna pay just 3.95, no matter how many items yeah. you keep checking out. And that's not applicable, Claire, is it? Just to this particular show. No, it's, it's the whole day. It's applicable for the whole 24 hours over uh, the... Which well, is a bargain. Which is a bargain. Mm -hmm. And just think what you'd normally pay, because I mentioned as yeah. well that the base, although it's not heavy to manoeuvre around, the base is quite weighty. And if you were to, uh, you know, send that to a regular courier or pop it in the post, yeah. you can imagine what the cost yeah. of that would be. Yeah. So 3 dollars is really, really great value. And for a lot of places, you'd order again, you'd have to pay yeah. a second, third, fourth, fifth time, no matter what you're ordering. Not at Hobby Maker. 3 dollars for a 24 hour uh, is worth of postage yeah amazing fantastic well we've got lots and lots more to show you uh we've got a lot more to show you on this show a lot more about the lighting related native lighting and more of course from claire but um before we do that we're just going to show you a little bit more about what we've got coming up later <laughs> So this is my new home here at Hobby Maker. Looks pretty nice. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. After the success that we had last Monday with my jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewelry Maker Warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewelry Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you, the last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column kunzite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker Vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, 
size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. If you want to search our website for your favourite brands, simply go to hobbymaker.co.uk, click on Brands, and you'll find all your favourite items all in one place. Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Yeah, yeah. I won't tell him if you don't tell him. No. Oh, we're back. We're back. Of course, we're, you are back with Wake Up With Hobby Maker. Uh, my name's Ben Murray. Uh, if you don't know me, you're going to know me uh, very, very soon. And our guest in the studio today is the fantastic Claire Donnelly. Hello. From Native Lighting. And we have been taking a look at some of your floor lamps, haven't we, we have, today? Yes. But that's not all that you offer. Just to recap, actually, on the floor lamp, don't forget everything is available on the show on pre-order. You can pop over to our website, www.hobbymaker.co.uk, and put some items in your basket. And don't forget to check out, because if you're buying any items here on the show today, because it's my first show, it's almost like a birthday, I Claire. Know. It's almost like a birthday. <laughs> because it's my first show, we're doing a £25 credit for one lucky uh, viewer who checks out during the show today. So, what are you waiting for? But we've been looking at the floor lamps, we of have. course. We've got different um, colour uh, types, we've got uh, different brightnesses, and so on and so forth. But you've got such a wide range of different lights, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, we have. I mean, we do floor lights, we do desk lights, we do magnifiers, we do mm -hmm. rechargeable, we do USB powered, we've got mains operated. So, mm -hmm. something for everybody. Um, and depending on sort of like, you know, what, what craft it is that you do, where you sit, if you travel. So, yeah. we thought of everything. Thought of everything. Well, I'm going to challenge you on that. <laughs> I want to see if you have thought of everything. Um, because we we're going to go through everything that you've got here on the show, but this is not an exhaustive list that no, we've got in here no, today. No, But we're going to start off with the LED desk lamps. So let's right. start off at the, this end okay. uh, of, of the counter here and just right. talk us through what you've got. Let me move your, move my your coffee. Well, you've got you've gone all continental. She's gone all continental. She's got coffee. <laughs> I do like coffee, but you have to have a croissant with it. Oh no! I did ask for some, but they're a bit tight here for croissants. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, let's let's talk through the first desk lamp. Okay, so this is the compact LED desk lamp. So this one is an ideal one for if you're working at a computer, if you're working on a desk. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got the buttons on the bottom here, your control buttons, then you've got an on button there. Mm -hmm. And this one has got, again, as I was talking before, saying that a lot of our lamps have all got different colours. Um, so colours are measured in Kelvin. Okay. Um, so if you're, if you're going to be daylight, you sort of, once you get past 5,000, then you're in daylight. Okay. And then you, you go past that, it's cool light. And going back, then you're going down into your warmer lights right. from there. Okay. So that's on the warm light at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got a, a cool light there, daylight. So it just cycles through, you just press yeah. the button. It's like a touch, you don't, it's not, you don't have to apply yeah, the force. Yeah, just gentle, gentle touch on, on, okay. on the controls there. Yeah. So the little circle is, is the different colours. And then the little sunshine is your brightnesses. So you've got on this one, you've got three colours and you've got three different brightness settings. Oh, wow. And these ones are brand new to, to us here at Hobby Maker as well, aren't they? Yep. We've they are. never, ever had these before. So these are brand new. So you could be one of the first to grab one of these lucky lights. You can also angle the head up like that as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can go forward. So you, depending if you want it to be really oh. close, so you can angle it forwards. And then when you've finished, if you don't want to keep the lamp out, you can fold it down and just oh, pack wow. it away in a drawer. Isn't that clever? Isn't that clever? So you can pack it away, you can pop it in your craft box. Again, if you're out traveling or you're in your caravan or something like that, yeah. it tucks away. Yeah. Being compact is really, really useful. And if you've indeed. got a craft bag that you want, you're going to craft classes mm -hmm. and things like that, then you know it just pops in the top of your craft bag. Nice Fantastic. And so this one's mains operated. Okay, um, okay. Comes in black and white. Okay, so we've, so got, we've got the got details on the screen uh, for the white one at the moment, HMN127 at 4599. Don't forget just 395 P and P, but you can choose either the black or the white. Um, so HMN127, which is for the, um, the white one, and the black one, which is just gonna come onto your screen in a moment. 
It's the same price, of course, same great value PMP, and it's DZN147. So don't forget to pop that in your basket uh, and take full advantage of that. And of course, don't forget it's 45 99 but it could be just £20.99 if you're fortunate enough to get the £25 credit for checking out during the show. One lucky viewer is going to get that benefit. OK, so moving on, what have we got next? So next we have got um, the Chameleon Magnifier. The chameleon. Yeah, so the, okay. so the, the word chameleon is, is because of the colour changing. Oh, so that's why, why okay. we're calling it chameleon. I like that. So this magnifier mm. is three times magnification. So three times, it does okay. give a, re a really, so we've got some little gems here. Okay. And um, what we can do is I'll just, I'll pop it on first. Mm -hmm. So you, the controls are actually exactly the same as, as the compact LED lamp. So the w middle one is, is your on button. Mm -hmm. um, and then your little uh, circles are your different different colors so you've got um, warm light daylight and cool light again and then three brightness levels on each one okay. so these ones have nine different settings on them when you're using that so if you maybe use the magnifier um, or you don't need a magnifier you can pop the lid down and just use it as a light so this one's ideal for, for both because you maybe don't always need the magnifier so mm -hmm. it might be just some project that you're working on where you've got really intricate details that you need to be able to see um, so if you don't need the magnifier just pop your lid down but if you do need the magnifier then we've got this amazing three times magnification so I've got here some gems and I think if we can just get the camera so that we can we can see them and then we can maybe go underneath afterwards. So you can see there how, how the size of them. And then if we can come underneath the magnifier and we can see I don't know if we can do overhead here. Normally we're on the other desk. What yes, we, do overhead. we don't have an overhead camera. No, now. so that's not we'll actually going to work. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Let me just if Let's I tilt go it. sideways. That's, it. that's better. Let's have a look at And see if that then helps. we might be able to do it that way. Yeah. So if I then go out and then come back, you can then see how much that magnifies those there. If we come down. That's incredible. The difference that makes, isn't it? Yeah. It's three times, which is, 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 is really high. That's brilliant. So it, all the different things that you might want to use the magnifying light for are going to be, of course, in this case, we're looking at some small gems. Um, or we're looking at your enormous ring, ring there. there. Look at the yeah, size of that. So that. You can see that She's quite just well, showing though. off now. <laughs> She's just showing off. See how small it is there. That's you go it. away from the screen and yeah. then you can You might be doing your much. nails in there, yeah, Claire, like, as I well. My, uh, you can be, my fancy nails. I've yeah, your fancy done. nails. <laughs> As well, if you go out yeah. there. You can obviously see how much smaller they were, and then how much that magnifies Fantastic. It for you. And if I turn it the other way and put it on me, does it make me look slimmer? Yeah, of course it would. Brilliant. And also, maybe if you um, struggle with uh, threading needles, yeah, you know how small an, a, a needle eye looks, mm -hmm. and then obviously once you hold it up against there. You, could, you know, it makes it so much easier to be mm. able to see the eye yes. of the needle yeah. and, and to be able to be able to thread that through there. And far better than just using your regular reading mm. glasses yeah. as well, because it's three times magnification. Yeah. So this is, is our incredible. highest um, magnification. We obviously mm. do a range of magnifiers, mm -hmm. and this is the one with the, with the highest magnification on this wow. one. Looks good, looks good. So thinking about all the different uses for the magnifying light, we've yeah. got threading needles, we've got doing our nails, we've got showing off our fantastic engagement ring or wedding yeah. ring or whatever it is. Um, there's all sorts of things, of course, that you can yeah. use that for. Things like diamond art. Diamond you know, art. The little diamonds. Are yes, so, are so diamond tiny. painting. Yeah. That's a brilliant idea. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah, and and so even if you're working with like little little gems, little decoupage yeah. and things like that, yeah. um, you know, sometimes just that extra little help with with with, with the magnification. Yeah. So you might be doing some embroidery. Yeah, maybe that's another thing you might be doing. So you're great for your embroidery, your needle craft. Again, threading those needles in yeah. there as well. A lot of people, all sorts of things. And also, um, if you're working with a sewing machine, because of the way you can angle it, you see, you can angle this in front of, of where you're working. So. Yeah. You'll look from this side. That's and then a great idea. In front of the sewing machine as well. Yeah. Um, because obviously, 
that the stitching is, is so tiny yes. and you know as your eyes start to not work quite as well yeah. um, then that's a brilliant extra help 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 with that and I love the flexibility as well on the neck because mm. again like the floor lamp you can bend, bend it and shape it in all different directions which is really handy you can have it straight and turn it up the other way as well perhaps yeah. for some up lighting again if that's what you wanted to use it for but it's again it's it's quite compact it's nice and sleek yes as well isn't it it's not mm. going anywhere and the controls are really really simple to use they are and I that's really, actually really quite that. um that's something quite unique to, to native lighting is the reinforced goosenecks yes um I, I, that's something else that, that i had as feedback was that after a while they they tend to sort of like flop yes. and droop and yes. become weakened yes so we sort of have uh, made sure that ours are reinforced and yes. we've got a, a well, you can't feel the vertebrae in them so we've got like a reinforced steel yes to, to stop to stop that from happening because often you do find that when you have something like that yeah. whatever it is with those sort of necks is over time yeah they do get looser they split quite yes. often as well yeah. they split open don't they yeah and you've not got to worry about that you don't like need this. to worry about that because that's something that we've obviously made sure that, that we've got that strength in, mm. in the gooseneck yeah superb fantastic so don't forget if you like the magnifying lamp the details are on your screen at the moment it's called the chameleon desk magnifier lamp uh, tqn 186 is the number 45.99 um, or of course 40 pounds 99 if you are fortunate enough to receive the 25 pound credit for messaging uh, for uh, sorry checking out mm. during the show today we're going to pick one lucky viewer who's going to get that but it's a great lamp and again 395 uh, for the postage yeah. which is the same all day no matter how many items you might buy not just during the show but for the whole uh, day from midnight last night to midnight this night uh, tonight and also this is available on split pay so two split payments of 22.99 Fabulous. Should we move on? Move on to the next one. Let's move down. Okay. Let's move the, the coffee I'm just, just out of the way the there okay. for a second. So we've got another magnifier here. So this one, okay. um, as you can see at the moment, we've got it clamped onto uh, to our little box, our little craft Now, box I here. really love the idea of having the clamp because these are um, these are really, really good lamps, of course. But mm. sometimes, you know, you're working on a on desk, uh, perhaps a table desk, yep. a, 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 a lap desk. Lap tray. Lap tray. That's yep. what I, they were the words yep. I was trying to look for. <laughs> um, or a range of different uses. Again, perhaps in your caravan or your motorhome yeah. or you're working away. And I love the fact that this just clips on here. Yeah. So we've got so this one you've got this clip here. So mm -hmm. you it opens to about six centimeters the clip. So you could you can open see here. Oh. It's on a spring. And it's also got little um, cushion pads to yeah. protect your furniture okay. as well. So if you're putting it on the dining table and you're worrying about if it might mark it, then we've got, got obviously those pads on there. And that presumably is going to give you a bit of extra grip. Yeah. As well. So if you're clipping it to something that's really smooth, yeah. like glass or yeah. some sort of porcelain surface or something like that, it's just got that bit of extra yeah. grip on there. Yeah. So all of our products can be um, put onto, onto, onto glass and everything goes down to as low as one centimetre. So, wow. so the openings are R6 and then yeah. it goes down as small as one centimetre wow. as well. Amazing. So with this one, yeah. you've got the light and you've got the magnifier. This one's rechargeable okay. as well. So, so it's completely portable. Yeah. So you charge this one up wow. and then it will last for um, between six and eight hours, depending on what brightness you've got, got that wow. one on. So to switch it on, you just tap it on here. I love the fact everything's just, just touch, tap, yeah, touch just screen. Touch, so it's yeah. A, yeah, yeah, touch controls. Yeah. And really gently. Yeah. You haven't got to really press anything. No, There's no knobs very, to turn yeah. or anything like that. You just tap it very lightly. Yeah. Everything's very gently. So you tap it on. Um, it would normally be slightly brighter than this. We just didn't put it on until charge till we got in this morning. So yes. it only takes a couple of hours to charge. Yeah. And yet it's already going. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we had it on for about 15 minutes, I think, mm. before, before we started. And then if you just keep your finger on it, that will dim it right down as well. Mm -hmm. And then turn it off and then it comes back onto the, onto the, onto the brightness. Keep your finger on there as well. Fantastic. So the magnification on this one is um, 1.3. So it's quite a bit less than, than the one before, but sometimes people just need a little bit to be able to help them. So let's we'll see if we can maybe um, have a little look at some text. We might need to do it up at the side because we mm -hmm. haven't got the um, overhead camera. Okay. So if we maybe can sort of like do it this way. That's it. There oh. you go. So you can see. Brilliant. You can see obviously on the on the left hand side how, how much the text yeah. shows and then obviously you can see makes a huge difference just with the one point three. 
I should just point well. out that's not the lamp turning the text upside down. No, it's, it's the book. It's holding the book upside down. Yeah. <laughs> should we try the right, right way around? Try the right way around. That might be a good idea. <laughs> that's it. Let me, let me you hold, hold the, book. the book for you. I'll <laughs> yeah. be your glamorous assistant. Yes, there okay. we go. There we go. So there. You can see there. <laughs> that's better. So you can see if we, we move up and down. So you can see what it's like underneath. And then when we go there, you can see how it magnifies it. So what was you. the magnification on this one? So this one's 1 1.3. 1 1.3. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. So, um, if, you know, if you haven't been working with a magnifier before, sometimes it can take a little bit of a while to get used to using a magnifier. So maybe not going straight to the, like, really so strong in. one. So, yes. like, yeah, go, going you. with slight, slightly less one as well. So. OK. And as we've got this, this spring here, and it comes with a, a rechargeable cable, which is USB. Yes. So when you get a product that's USB, th there's three ways that you can charge that. Mm -hmm. So the three options are you can put it into a power pack yeah. um, and charge it that way. So you mean into sort of a wall using one of the plugs? No, that's okay. a power pack is like what um, is um, an adapter pack. So okay. like, it's like a power bank. Okay. So, like, well, you know, maybe then people carry those around to charge their mobile phones. Oh, I see. You know, when you about? run out of battery yeah. and then you plug it yes. in and it gives it a boost. Th yeah, so you can oh, take I get those you. So, you can with charge you. it off of that. You can charge that's a great it. Idea. Yeah, charge it from that. Mm. I, and you can then also plug it into anything that's got a USB port. Yeah. So, so your laptop, uh, laptop or... sewing machine, yeah. computer. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people have them on their plugs in their houses now as well, do. don't they, to save sort of yeah. extra plug sockets yeah. as well. Yeah. And also then you can plug it into an adapter, which is what you use probably for your mobile phone to mm -hmm. charge. Mm -hmm. So then just put the actual USB port into, into, the, into the plug mm -hmm. and plug that straight into the mains. Mm -hmm. And so that's your three different ways that you can charge it. It's a really versatile, it. isn't yeah. it? And, and um, what sort of uh, charge did you say we get on this? So you, if you, it needs to charge for a couple of hours yes. and then that will last between six to eight hours depending on what brightness setting that's incredible really six to eight hours mm. on just a couple of hours charge yeah i think anyway <laughs> yeah i really think that's useful and i love the fact it's for me this is something that i would absolutely be using if i was out traveling somewhere as well in yeah. particular yeah i'd really really use it for that and of course it's great for craft that's why it's on on uh, on hobby maker but it's not only for craft no lots of people use it for reading mm. um another thing that a lot of people use this for is to put on the headboard or the bed oh, that's so uh, then it comes yeah. obviously yeah. comes over um and then if they're if they're sort of like reading and just want to read and then obviously just just touch touch it off when you finish yeah. uh, in the evenings but yeah lots of different uses you know you can clamp it to a book it clamps onto scoreboards yes um, can we see that yeah can we see that so let's, we've got let's one see. here just my apologies to anybody at home i keep touching my ear my earpiece keeps popping out unfortunately it's a problem I, I have because I've got very large ears <laughs> and they keep, uh, you, you know what they say about men with large ears, don't you? They need big earmuffs. <laughs> Not heard that one before. No, there you go. <laughs> There we go. So you can see there, it's on the top of, on top of the um, scoreboard. Okay. So yeah, if you were working on the scoreboard. And when you think that the, the scoreboard is quite thin quite by thin. comparison, yeah. it's not a thin scoreboard, but it's as, as surfaces go, mm. it's quite thin by comparison to a desk or yeah. a countertop or a headboard or, yeah. or something along those lines. Um, and yet it, it seems to clip on there no problem at all. And again, because it's got sort of, are they rubber sort of feet? That yeah, you've got so in got, yeah, so rips? inside there you've got like, the, they've got, Sort of like, um, I don't know what we call and they're them, really. sort of—I don't think this is the right word—but they're like waffled. Yes, that's, is that, um, is that so that's again to stop them slipping. So, um, does anybody yeah. know what that's called? <laughs> Waffling. <laughs> that's what I do. Um, Cross hatch. abrasive. It's probably like, no, it's not really abrasive. I don't even know what I'd call it actually. Cross hatch. But it's like grippy. Uh, yes. Let's use Grip. the word. That's the grippy. right thing. Yeah. So yeah. it sort of grips onto them so it doesn't <laughs> slip off. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So that goes on there really, really yeah. nicely. Yeah, so indeed. I mean, obviously we've got the book there as well. Okay. So you can we could show that you know if you were if you were reading, you know you could you could have it on the book yeah. as well. So yeah, it clamps on to, to lots of different. That's a brilliant idea. Things. That's a brilliant. And again, if you you know maybe a cookbook even yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah, it goes like quite nice on, on book stands actually. Yeah, we, we um, on a on a stand on a book stand. On the book stand. Use it quite a lot on book stand. And actually, yeah. you can clip it. I just noticed that actually because you can you can clip it yes this way. Yeah. But you can also clip it this way. Yeah, whichever way. So you've yeah. got you've got different choices, haven't mm. you? I like that. That's brilliant. I really like that. Well, if you oh, I'm going to put it back. You couldn't see it though. I was taking. There we go. Um, if you really like the look of that, don't forget to pop that in your basket. It's it's fun. 
<laughs> FUN 143. Ah. There we go. Mm. FUN 143, 35.99. Um, and that's the clip-on magnifier. That's the clip-on magnifier. So we've also got... So this is a clip-on light, this, this is the one. the clip-on light. Yes, the mini one. The mini one. So, oh, yeah, this like is, um, yeah, this is this is just a smaller one, really. Mm -hmm. Again, for if people travel and want to be just be able to take something with them. Mm -hmm. This one clips and stands, this one. So, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I like that. So it stands, and also you can put it on the wall because there's a little uh, screw mark there. So you can put a screw on the wall and then you can hang it on the wall that's as well. That's really versatile, isn't it? Yeah. So this that's one, really versatile. It's got three options, this one. So that might be something that you have in a particular place all the time, hanging it on the wall. Yeah. And then you think, oh, actually, I'm just going to, I need to take it. Again, we're going away or I need to take it upstairs. And you, you can take it. Yeah, you can just take it with you. And Brilliant. again, it's rechargeable. So what sort of life do we get out of this on the, on the so, light? So the majority of the lamps are all the same, mm -hmm. um, sort of like between six and eight hours, mm -hmm. depending on what brightness setting that, that, that people have it on. Yeah. So with this one, you, mm -hmm. you charge it up at the side here, mm -hmm. and then you've got a little on and off switch there as well. So you okay. switch your little on and off switch on. And again, this one has got the three different colours. So nearly nearly all of our lights have at least three colours. Okay. There's a couple that only only have daylight um, because that's the most important colour when you're crafting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, so you can see here, I've just changed wow. the colours. You've got uh, warm light, uh, cool light and daylight on there. And then if you keep your finger on each colour, yeah. it will dim down. Oh, so yeah. you just keep your finger on. Then go to the next one, That's and then brilliant. keep the finger on, and it will dim right down. The next one. That's absolutely and then that brilliant. And will dim right down as well. I'm not staring at you incessantly at home. I'm I'm looking at what you're seeing. I'm look, I'm mesmerised by the light. It's it's like the sun on one of those settings. <laughs> that's ah! the warm one. <laughs> Beautiful. So that's a, all of the the whole light range is really really <laughs> versatile. And what I love is they've all got sort of their own unique features. Yeah as well so this one here it's got sort of there's three ways to to, to, use, to, to, yeah. to use it isn't there yeah you can stand it up as it is here you can hook it on the wall yeah you can and clip you can it on it as well. uh, you know the the headboard or whatever it is you want to do you've got uh, again you've got this sort of this gooseneck here uh, which is the theme throughout the different lighting yeah. range that you've got so it's really versatile it's flexible you can bend it shape it yes any way you want yeah um, <laughs> and the different lights and the prices yeah. Uh, uh, different brightnesses as well. So uh, don't forget, if you like the uh, if you like the clip-on mini light, DNN175, 27.99. Stick it in your basket. That's what you want to do. Stick it in your basket. And we've got a message through to the studio from Tracy. Hi, Tracy. How you doing? Nice to see you. I use. Uh, I'm just. I'm got your readers on. I need your magnifying light. I use one with my sewing machine as I live on a boat. Oh, wow! Ah. Uh, very posh and not much room. Great to see what I'm doing. And that's from Tracy. So fully endorsed by Tracy from her boat. I love that. What a great yeah. idea. I wonder which one she uses. Um, she probably uses a rechargeable one as well, I'd say. Yeah, Tracy, yeah. message us back and let us know <laughs> which one it is that you use. I really, really like the idea of that. So we've got a fantastic, fantastic range. In fact, we're not done yet because we've got even more fantastic native lighting to bring you with fantastic Claire. So we are going to be back in just a moment straight after this. <laughs> So this is my new home, here at Hobby Maker. Looks pretty nice. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed, and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. After the success that we had last Monday with my jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back 
from the jewellery maker warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewellery Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you. The last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column consite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewellery Maker vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size, or quantity of your order, or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P and P. Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So, how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. And we're back. Welcome back to Wake Up With Hobby Maker. My name is Ben Murray and I am with the fantastic Claire Donnelly. Hello. Oh, still trying to sort my ear out here. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. Uh, and we are, of course, talking about native lighting today. Talking about native lighting. And Claire, this is, uh, this is your brainchild, isn't it, native lighting? It is, yes. This is my, my business that I set up. We're nearly three years old now. So, right, um, right. Just right. before, just before lockdown, was it? Yes, the October before before yeah. lockdown. So yeah. uh, quite a challenging time to set up a business, yeah. but uh, we made it through and just going from strength to strength. Now. Which is absolutely amazing. And we've already taken a look, uh, by the way, at some of the items on the show. If you want to have a look at some of the items on the show, don't forget you can check out the website, which is hobbymaker.co.uk. Um, head over to there, hit Watch Live, and below you will see all of the items that are available on the show. And what I love about this native lighting collection is the sheer array of choice, colours, brightnesses, and uses. They've all got their own unique perks which I really, really like. And whether you're crafting at home, yeah. whether you're crafting away, whether you're not crafting at all, maybe you're doing your nails, you know. Or reading. Or reading. Yeah. A craft book though. Yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> there, and there they are, there are the items there. Now, don't forget, of course, that it's one PMP all day. Uh, it's 3.95 PMP, no matter how many items you buy, no matter whether you buy on this show or a range of shows from midnight last night through to midnight tonight, just 3.95. So don't forget that. And of course, because it's my first show, uh, the powers that be have agreed to chuck in a £25 buying credit, uh, which we'll choose from somebody at random who's purchased on the show today, and they will get £25 credit to their Hobby Maker account. And don't forget, we want to hear from you at home. It's an interactive show. Send us in your crafty makes, send in any questions that you've got for Claire or myself, um, or you've got any, any tips or hints or anything like that. You can email us, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. And of course, if you have an account, what you can do is you can direct messages here straight to Hobby Maker HQ, as I yeah. call it. So there we go. And we've got a few messages. We've got a few messages, Claire. Ah. What have we got? Oh, morning, guys. Great to see you, Ben, back on the big screen. Ah, Tracy. Nice. <laughs> hey, Tracy, your check's in the post. <laughs> right on cue that was, oh. Mum. Uh, Tracy. 
Yeah, no, great job. Oh, we've got another one as well. That's a, all the peas for me on this morning's show. Great products and prices, fab presenters, and low P and P. Oh. Keep it up, hobby maker. Nice. Love Jay. He's got that right, or yeah. she? Jay? He? She? <laughs> you've you've got that right, Jay. That's what we like. All the peas. Yeah, I like all that. The and I feel privileged to be on your first show. What's that? Sorry. I feel privileged to be on. Oh, your another first P. Show. Privileged. <laughs> yeah, we go. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't write that down. <laughs> Make sure that's noted. <laughs> So, Claire, uh, we've got, uh, we're going to move on to some of the other lights that we've got here on the okay. show as well. Um, now, Claire is there. If you can just about see, see me her. Between the two. There she is. <laughs> yeah, tucking between the two lights. Tell us a little bit about, about these, these, because ones. these are quite unusual looking, I yeah. think. Yeah, so the, these are our, our, our sort of like biggest lights that we've got. Okay. So these are a really wide head of lights mm -hmm. here. So these are ideal for people that work on big tables. So okay. if you're working maybe on like large projects or you might be working on a large quilt or sort of like making some clothes, mm -hmm. anything that, that needs a, a really wide light. So this head is actually 80 centimetres. Wow. So that's a, a, a really... That's a, a a big a, light. A, a, a big light there. Yeah, yeah. So what you've got on here is you've got all your control rolls down here. So control rolls. Control. So it's a bit hard to do it all backwards. Yeah, that's here. it. So you've got your on on and off button there. Okay. Um, this one's also got five different different colours. So um, so the you've got the button that says temperature. So as we were talking earlier, that, that colour is measured in temperature. Mm -hmm. So you've got your warm light, your cool light, your daylight, and all, all, your, diff all your different colours. So can I just talk us through those very quickly, would yeah. you? When you talk about different temperatures, for people at home that aren't familiar <coughs> with, what, what difference does so, that yeah, make so, to so, so, so when you talk about temperatures, um, light's measured in Kelvin. Mm -hmm. um, so when you are working with colours, you normally would want your, your daylight setting. Mm -hmm. um, and the daylight setting starts from 5,000 okay. and goes up to, to 6,000. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you were looking for like a warmer light, that's sort of like when you, you're in the 2700s and then going up so you okay. go up through the through, through the numbers mm -hmm. um, so you'd start with your warm then you go to daylight and then you obviously got cool light as well as you as you go further. and how does that affect you in day to day so if I was using this for crafting for instance mm -hmm. you know how does that which setting do so I want to have that? so so when you're working with uh, crafting you mm -hmm. would normally go with the daylight setting okay um, because that's what you use for color matching mm -hmm. for clarity for mm -hmm. crispness as yes. well yeah. and that gives you a same type of light as if you were outside on yes. a sunny day at noon right so you were no more sort of like going up to the window and matching your colors and things yes. like that you just yeah. use your light because it's funny isn't it you can be crafting away you can be putting a card together mm. or you might be doing some sort of sewing and what you think in the evening yeah is a matching color yeah the amount of people that have said to me that they've come in and uh, come back to a, a project they've been working on in the morning yeah and then the colors are so different they've had to either unpick it or they've had to start again yes. or things like that so yeah. it's, it's really nice to to know that you've got the light and then you don't need to worry about what the colors are going to look like yes. like after yeah yeah so, so you've got that covered so we've got yeah. the different light what so you've got the different that's temperature so yeah, that's the okay. button that, that says temperature on mm -hmm. there and then you've got your different brightness settings for each color so you, you go through those there's, again there's five different brightnesses on on each, on each color and then you've got a really clever feature which is called an auto button uh, so what the auto button does is it works out what the light is in, in the room that you're in. Right. And it will either bring the light up or bring the light down. So it may well be that as it gets to maybe like four o'clock and it starts to get much darker in the room you're working in, right. that the sensor picks that up and then it will lighten the light up for you to give you the, the brightness that you, you should That's need. That's really clever. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a great feature. So that, and, and of course you're getting sort of localised lighting by using one of these lamps so you're getting that light in the space that you are yeah. to be working I mean that's like state-of-the-art technology yeah definitely yeah. and um, collaborating with NASA <laughs> or something like that. and, and that's what your little sensor is here so you've got this little sensor here so this is what it, it, it sees what's going on 
Um, so you can you can actually make it work by put, putting putting something over it so it thinks it's really dark and then yeah. it, it, it may brighten brighten it up completely. So you That's can sort of see really see that clever. changing. So do you just leave that setting on all the yeah, time? Yeah. So you have the option to use it or not. So yes. you, it's called the auto setting. So you obviously just put put your finger on there and yeah. then the lights on there to show that it's auto setting and you'll see if it starts to flash that's when it's changing it's, right. change, it's changing the colors throughout, oh. throughout the day to that's really really clever so that's a one size fits all option isn't yeah. it? yeah really? and also you've got uh, a timer on here which is a 50 minute timer okay so um, not quite an hour so I think that you think right okay we're not going to just going to maybe need to finish in, in, in a 50 minutes time and then it'll automatically turn off for you if you've got the auto timer on I think that's on an as absolutely well. great idea I love that I love that. If you think that's a great idea as well, uh, you can, of course, pop that in your basket. The code for that is TEN or 10138. Uh, now, that's for the, uh, the black one. TEN138 for the black one. But we also have the white version. Hopefully, Laura, not the white light on a white background. Otherwise, we won't see it. <laughs> There we go. Uh, so again, we've got the white one. The code for that is FVN124. FVN124. So it's not all white. This is white and silver, this yes. one. So obviously the top of this is, is, is silver. But then you've brushed obviously... Brushed chrome. Yeah, brushed I'd say it's brushed chrome. chrome. And then you've got the, the gooseneck <laughs> here, which, which is white. Yes. It also... Um, you can also stand it right up. So if you wanted to maybe like light a project yes. or something on the wall so yeah. you can angle it as well so it's um it's got the gooseneck on as as well as i was saying most of our lamps have these goosenecks so that you can actually position it so that's a great it. idea in so, fact so wherever you want to have it you know imagine you're you're doing something tall and you don't have a desk or something you necessarily high that you can mm. clamp it to maybe you do dressmaking or something like that and, yeah. and it's at a lower level and that, by, by yeah. turning that the other way it's going to light up your whole project so if you've got like a dressmaker's dummy and you want to like you know be working on it then you can just angle it like that mm. and then you can light up light up the dummy um, so let me just turn it around a little bit and show you the, the temperatures again uh, so you can maybe see as we go go through the different colours there. So you can see it changing with the different colours and then uh, the different brightnesses as well. That's absolutely brilliant. Is that gone off? So again, you know, not, not just, of course, for crafting directly. You might be, maybe you're taking some photographs of your yeah. craft you makes to put on your online craft store on your Facebook marketplace, yeah, a lot, whatever a lot, it is. A lot of photography. You could use it for that. Maybe you're going to use it for take, taking pictures of yourself yeah. as well. You could use it for that. Maybe you produce videos, perhaps. Um, crafty videos that you want to uh, it, use. It's all sorts of uses. Yeah, it's ideal as well for over um, a computer, or oh, maybe okay. if maybe if people have got more than one computer they're working on too, yes. so then it will light across the whole area. Well, that's quite well. right. A lot of people do that now, yeah. don't they? They they work across sort of quite a wide mm. wide space, so it would be useful for that as well. I'm just going to show you the, how the clamp as well. It's quite a different clamp mm. to. Um, a lot of the other ones. So it's a, it's a really deep clamp. Wow, this that's one. chunky. Um, a nice big clamp I love there. That. But you can also clamp this directly to the wall. So you've oh, got yes, on you've the got back the there. We just turn that round. You can see that you've got got the screws that you don't. It doesn't come with the screws, no. but it's just standard screws that you'd be able to just pop it onto a wall. So if you haven't got the space on your desk, you can just screw it onto the wall, and then you've got that option there as well with that one. Absolutely fantastic. So you can fix that to the wall, you can clamp it to the desk. And what sort of depth could you clamp? Yeah, this, this one this is, is deeper. Yeah, this 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 is this is quite a deep clamp, this mm. one. This one goes up to about eight centimetres. Right. So that's one, wow. one of the deeper ones. Really good. It might be as well, don't forget we are hobby maker. So you may be it might be something that you want to use if you're woodworking in your shed. Or something like that, because think of a big, thick workbench. Yeah. You could use it for that. Maybe do model making, or uh, you know, you're a training enthusiast, model training enthusiast, or mm. anything like that. You know, these sorts of lights would be really, really useful. Maybe you know, you're a classic car enthusiast, and you're working on your engine. You know, there's all sorts of uses, all sorts of uses. I love the fact that you've got the timer on that. Yeah. I love the different brightnesses. I love the different temperatures, giving you the different shades of light as well. Yeah. Is that the right way to say it? Shades of light, but the different temperatures. And 
and I love the auto yeah, feature. The, the, uh, that's a really clever feature, actually. It is, yeah. absolutely. It's a really sturdy looking light as yes, well, Yes, it, it is. This one is, yeah. Everything right down to the clamp. That's not going anywhere. No. <laughs> is it? No. Which is what we want. If you like the look of that, don't forget to pop that in your basket. FVN124. That's 11999. And um, don't forget, it's one lot of PMP all day, three ninety five. Yeah. Fill your boots, fill your baskets across the entire day, the whole day, just three ninety five. Yeah, you did hear me right, just three ninety five. We love it. Right, moving on. on okay. Moving on. So we've we've looked at you know this is quite a robust lamp, the one that we've just looked at there is quite. You know, it's good for big chunky work. It's a, it's a long light. But if we're looking to work away, we want something to pop in our craft bag or something like that, you've covered that as well, haven't covered you? Covered that as well. So this is called our two-in-one travel lamp. Okay. So the, the clue's in the name. It's okay. like, but it's not just for travel. It's an ideal lamp to keep at home mm -hmm. as well. So this lamp is two features. Mm -hmm. So this is a rechargeable lamp. Right. Again, once it's charged up, it will last for about eight hours. So you lift this one up here. Oh! Oh, and like um, then you've got your colours on there. I Again, we've got the three colours. So we've got the warm light, cool light and the daylight. And each one, you just keep your finger on and then it will dim down on, it, on each colour. But the, the, the unique feature with this one is you close it up yeah. and you open it up and you tap it twice. It's like a and it's a light. torch as well. Look so, at that. Um, it's a really good torch as well. It, it goes goes a really goes a really long long way. Paul, our cameraman's nodding profusely in the background. He's thinking, I quite fancy one of those. <laughs> so you can see, you can see along the table. No, oh, right. never need to use your light at home again. <laughs> I reckon Paul's going to be taking that home. Keep an eye on that. So this is ideal, like you know, say we get power cuts, you keep it charged up. You've, oh, got, yeah. you've got the lamp and you've got the torch. Yeah. Um, so say like you know you you've got. You know, you, want, you just want a little bit of light in the room and then you need to be able to walk, walk around, around in the house. You can use the torch. Lots of people say they love it when they go camping. A lady told oh, me... Yes, the other, of course. Yeah, the other yeah. day, lady told me the day that she takes it down to the garden to, to water her plants in the greenhouse at night. Yeah. Um, John Scott, who's next door, yeah. says that he loves it when he walks down to his village hall because there's no street lights, so right. he takes it with him. Um, and yes, yeah, so it's he's got no street lights. No, no Where street lights in his village. Huh? But what a great idea! I really love the style. I love the design. That's absolute genius, <coughs> isn't it? Absolute genius. You're out camping again. You're in your caravan. Maybe Tracy. Tracy, here's one to add to your collection on your boat. <laughs> Tracy from earlier. Oh, she's messaged back. She does what? She clips it where? She clips it on her curtain pole. Ah, That's a good idea. Very good. On the boat. She's genius. <laughs> yeah. We love it. We love it. I really this love is it. a nice one, maybe like if, you, if you're going on holiday as well, and so you want to sit on your balcony and read in the oh, evening. Because yeah. it That's doesn't take up much space, idea. so you can pop it into your suitcase, or even if you've only got hand luggage, there's enough space. And I love that. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, we're going on holiday at the end of the month, actually. Oh, yeah. That's a fantastic idea. It takes up so little space. Yeah. yeah, again, sitting on your balcony or yeah. even just, you know, you might not have a bedside lamp. You don't know what's going to be in your room no. where you're going to go. Keep it in your car. And sometimes you? when you go to some, some of these places as well, when you walk home at night, there again, it can be quite little dark lanes and That's roads. That's right, when you're on a holiday. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's great for that. And it's, if you again, live somewhere like John in Monaco yeah. and haven't got the lights, <laughs> You know. And it's rechargeable, this one, and again, it lasts up to eight hours. Once wow, it's, um, on a couple of recharged. hours? Yeah. That's absolutely brilliant. And I love, <coughs> I love the fact that you've got, again... You tap it twice tap to turn it, it oh, on. Oh, look, even <laughs> I can use it. Even I can use it. Look at that. I love it. Oh, woo, it's like a disco. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So, uh, the details for this are on your screen, and the great news about this, of course, is it's on split pay. So it's two split pays of $24.99. Of course, if you're buying during the show and you're fortunate enough to get the £25 credit to your account, yeah. it's only going to cost you 25 quid. Amazing. That's absolutely brilliant. That's the native lighting two in one travel lamp, QTN 103. Okay. 
even I can use. Even this one. So this is our... Get me out of here! <laughs> this is our, um, our most uh, affordable. This is like our entry level. OK. So this is... Maybe you've not tried a, a light before and you're not too sure at the moment um, mm. if you think it's going to help you or benefit you or not. So what we find is a lot of people might start off with this one um, and then as soon as they've realised benefits of, of using a good quality daylight lamp, they'll then move on to a, a one with more features and functions oh i see so this is again it's got our trusty gooseneck mm -hmm. so nice solid so um, these are reinforced you said yeah, didn't you yeah they are so it yeah. shouldn't split or no. fray or and you and don't you get the um feel the can't feel the, the vertebrae, the vertebrae no, no which is what you use to, which are the ones that tend to use to sort of like go floppy um mm. in the past so this is just a, a standard daylight one so daylight spotlight and it's just on and off no brightnesses Brilliant. on this one yeah yeah Fantastic. So this is sort of your entry level one, so to speak. This is the most affordable one that you do. But it's a great bit of kit and it's still the same great quality yes. of the other lights. So the reason it's a bit less is it has a bit less functionality. That's just it. It's just on and off and it's just daylight. So. And this is a rechargeable? Is this that's, a rechargeable? No, that's USB power. Oh, this is one. USB. Yes. I see. So I see. USB so it's still powered. really, really cost effective to run. Yes. Really light as well. Details on your screen at the moment. $25.99 WLN. One five two. Do you know that's a cracking price? That's a cracking price because it's, it's really good quality. It's going to last a long time. It's easy to use. I love it, and it's USB powered. It is. Another thing to mention about all of uh, native lighting lamps as well is they're all guaranteed for two years. Oh wow! So um, it's with LEDs. Um, they're so much more advanced. We get hardly any problems yes. with LEDs. Yeah. Um, obviously, with electrical items, you might get the odd one now and again, yeah. but it would just be an automatic straight replacement if wow. there was ever. And that's a two-year warranty. And for two years, yeah. That's good. You don't. So it's not very often you buy anything from anywhere and yeah. you get that two-year warranty, is it? <clears throat> no. Typically, you get a twelve-month. 12 month guarantee yeah. or whatever it is so that's really really good i love that and of course uh, is this available in a, in uh, the black as well this one no that one's just in this white. is just in the white yeah white is very very popular of course it's nice and clean looking yeah. uh, it's also made very popular by uh, that popular smartphone and mich i've got to be careful not to say <laughs> By Apple. OK, I've said it now <laughs> because they, you know, they're, they're the, the, the they love all that. It's very, yeah. very fashionable is what I'm trying but to say. But that's why I think we've um, been a very long winded way, been quite popular having different coloured lamps because there yeah. hasn't really been much available on the market other than in white for yes. crafting. Yeah. Um, so obviously we've had quite a few of our lamps available in black and yes. um, they have been really popular. Yeah. Yeah. Makes a bit, bit of a difference. Yeah. Doesn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, it does. So moving on over here, just really, dis just going to really discreetly unplug and plug in. Because <laughs> we've only got one put plug, it in there. Put USB it in there. plug. That's it. Put it in there. <laughs> That's it. Is it in? We've got the Slimline clamp lamp. Slim lamp. Slim lamp. Is that right? It's the slim clamp lamp. The I slim think. clamp yeah. lamp. Um, Try saying that <laughs> after a few years. The slim clamp lamp. Yeah. I love this. This is a spring clamp okay. on this one, yeah. so a little bit different to some of the, the other. So when you say a spring clamp, I'm just yeah. going to show you that there. there. It's like a bulldog clip, like yes, a giant it bulldog is. clip. Yeah. So rather than actually sort of screwing that on, it's all adjustable. There we go. And it goes, you know, it's quite a wide, that's quite a wide clamp, isn't it? Mm. Well, it's clamped on this on this. Desk, yeah, which on this is quite, here, yeah, quite a thick desk. On the yeah. desktop here. Really, really... Oh, let me just pop that back on there. There we go. This is the slim... I've got to keep saying it. The slim clamp lamp. I like that. And this is available in the black and white. It is, yeah. So this one is brilliant. You can put a knot in this one. So wow. if you don't want that, that really long arm, then you can, you can put a knot in it. So um, okay. it, it's really flexible, this one. OK, I'm going to have a go. Have a go at putting a knot put, in. Oh, putting it into your <laughs> chest. Hang there on. you go. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Hmm. I like that. So it doesn't have to be. She's laughing at me. I'm, I'm excited <laughs> about it. It's so like, you don't always have to have the long arm, is what I'm saying. You know, yeah. you, you, can, you can position it and, and, and wherever you I like it. it. I like it. 
So you can have it, and that's obviously, uh, you know, apart from the fact that you can knot it to make yeah. the, the, the goosenecks shorter, yeah. if that's what you want to do, it, it just shows you how malleable and pliable yes, the, the neck are. is. So you can move it into, you bend it, shape it any way you want it, yeah. as I said earlier. And so this comes in the black off. and the white. Yeah, so how switch. do I operate so you turn it? So you turn it on at the end, just touch the end. Here you are. Yeah. <laughs> I like that as well. So this one's only in daylight. This one. Yes. Um, but that's if you've got to choose. That's the colour. That's the one you want, isn't need. it? Yeah. That's what's important when you're, yeah. you're crafting your colour matching. I love it. But it also dims. So if you keep your finger on it, it dims as well. It doesn't dims it? as well. This one. So just Let's keep see if your... I can operate it. <laughs> what do I do? Hold my just finger. keep your finger on it, and then you can see it going down. Oh there. yeah. And then take your finger off. Tap it again. And then oh yeah! <laughs> Should we do that again? So it comes on at the brightest, and then you keep your finger on to dim it down. Oh yeah! Can we just do the next forty-five minutes? <laughs> you keep playing with that. <laughs> there we go. And I love it's very, very flexible. Look at that. So you can use it as a desk lamp if you want to. Yeah, lots of people use these over their laptops. A lot of people yeah. wrap them around their sewing machines yes. as well. Yeah. Um, or, you know, if you, if you re again, bed light, bedside lamps. Yeah, um, I love it. And, of course, you can clip it on stuff. You can clip it onto your bedside table. Yeah. You can put it on, clip it onto your, onto your, on your headboard. Yeah. All sorts of things. And it's USB, you yeah, said, USB. as well. So we can plug it straight into our, like you said, our laptop, yeah. into a power bank we into talked power about bank. earlier yeah. before. So, again, if you're out and about yeah. and you don't have convenient access uh, to a socket, you can use it for that. Um, I'm all right in thinking a lot of sewing machines now have USB they do. ports. Yeah, they do. Is that so right? You, yeah, they do. So you could put them into the, the newer ones. Been yeah. a sewing machine. The newer ones now do have USB ports. They have ports, the USB, so, so you, can, you can plug that in for power, yeah. presumably. And like we were saying before, that's ideal with obviously the, the energy costs at the moment, so yes. that you're only actually powering one appliance instead of a, powering a light and a sewing machine. They can run from the Run same, together yeah. from the same power source. I love the idea of that. And Again, you know, the bulldog clip, I really, really like that. <laughs> so we've got uh, a couple of uh, uh, choices in colour. So we've got the black one, and we've also got the white one there as well. So we've got the details on your screen at the moment for the white one. It's the Native Lighting White Slim Clamp Lamp. Yeah, practice saying that. <laughs> the White Slim Clamp Lamp, 49.99, AXN131. There we go, and it's in front of your face. What are you doing? Uh, so $49.99, and that's available on split pay, two payments of $24.99. So you pay the first $24.99 on checkout, I believe, or today, and then you play, uh, pay the other one in four weeks' time. $3.95 postage all day long. What's not to love? <laughs> We've got a message from Julia. Morning, hobby maker. Great products, great show. And your new <laughs> presenter, Ben, is fab. Aww. Give you a high five. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Hope to see you again soon, Ben. All the best, Julia. Thanks, Julia. Aww. Your five is in the post as well. That's nice. Oh, no, I gave you the one ten. Your ten is in the post as well, Julia. <laughs> love you. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, very nice indeed. So... Oh, there we go. So we've been through most of the range. This is not an exhaustive range, no, is it? There's more no. available. Um, there's more available. Don't forget to have a look on the website, hobbymaker.co.uk. Uh, pop them there, click watch live, and all of the items you've seen on the show so far will be on the website. You can pop them in your basket, but don't forget to check out because we have limited uh, stock of all of the items that we have and it's uh, first come first serve really isn't it because you put is, it in your basket yeah. to secure it no. you actually need to make sure that you check out that's really important of course you need to check out as well to qualify hopefully for a potential 25 pounds for one of our lucky viewers today so we really want to see those fingers <laughs> get them checking out we'll be back right after this here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. &P. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Here at 
hobby maker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your hobby maker account sound? Every month we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky hobby maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. So this is my new home here at Hobby Maker. Looks pretty nice. Welcome back, of course, to Wake Up With Hobby Maker. I can see you sitting at home there in your check pajamas. Yeah, enjoying curled up on the sofa with a cup of coffee. If you haven't got one, get the kettle on. Yeah, get your crafty brew ready because we've got you know, the rest of the show to go yet, haven't we? We have. And if you didn't tune in this morning, where have you been? Get out of bed. We've been up hours. Hobby maker. Because <laughs> I'm we? here with Claire Donnelly <laughs> from Native Lighting, aren't I, today? You are. And we've been going through our fantastic craft lamp range. Um, we've had a fantastic response, particularly to the floor lamps. Now, just before we move on to those, those of you that aren't familiar with Claire, Claire, just tell us again a little bit about you and, uh, and the business Native Lighting. So I've been in the um, lighting business for the last 15 years. Okay. Um, I worked for um, a lighting company for, for 10. Then I um, got headhunted and went and worked in the commercial lighting industry. Didn't enjoy it as much. Mm -hmm. uh, missed talking to all my lovely people that love the lamps and getting you know to, to, to the heart of what it was that they were looking for mm -hmm. and they needed. Um, I got an opportunity uh, for three years ago, just before the pandemic hit, to, mm -hmm. to set up my own, own lighting company. And we've been going from strength to strength since then. And That's amazing. I think the key thing uh, with, with Native is that we listen to what the users say mm. they want. Mm. And mm. a big thing that, that people used to say is they couldn't get the light where they needed it. Yes. Um, so that's why we bought in our goosenecks. Um, yes. So we've got these goosenecks that, that runs through nearly all of our lights. And it just means that you can position and you can angle the lights wherever you need it. But they're not just sort of standard goosenecks, no. are they? Because you can have gooseneck <coughs> lights. I've had them in the past, or I've seen them, I should say, yeah. in the past. And often they're sort of the exposed metal spine, yeah. what do you call it, the vertebrae, the vertebrae. and they split, don't they? And yeah. after a while they go a bit floppy, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. You don't have that with these, no. do you? So, so what we've done is we've sort of like designed a reinforced gooseneck to, yes. to stop, you know, after a while that they don't drop um, and they don't become sort of loose and, and don't stay where you put them. They ping back up and things like that. Yes, so that's yeah. why we designed this, this style to yeah. make sure that the light stays where it's meant and to And I can be. say, I think you did a fantastic job because one thing that really comes through on all of these lights is the quality. Right. I think they're really, really good quality as well. And the bases in particular as well, the ones that are that are sort of desk or floor base, you know, you've got a nice sized base to them. They're weighted enough. They're not going to fall, fall over, over. Yeah. Uh, or get knocked. And very slim yeah. as well at the bottom. So if you're sitting on your sofa or something like that, you can bring it right up to the sofa, the bottom of the base can sneak underneath, yes. you can get, get it really close to Yeah. It. I mean, all of these things have been taken into account. It's years mm. of obviously working in the industry and, mm. and, and feedback for, from, from, from users, which is really important to then, mm. you know, put that through into the lights that we bring. Um, and, you know, at the moment we're working on something that, that we've had lots of messages in on, on, on the other channels saying, mm. you know, we're, we're desperate for a certain type of magnifier. And yes. so, you know, yeah. because of all those messages, that, that that's going to be com coming to the fruition. And, and obviously we, we sort of listen to what people want. And you've got some common themes running through a large proportion of the lights, haven't you? So you've got varying colours, yeah. temp different temperatures. Yeah. So depending on whether you want it for mood lighting, depending yeah. on whether you're crafting, which, of course, most of you are. Uh, and good for colour matching if you're using the daylight. Yeah. You might be doing nails. Yeah. 
as um, well or something like that. You might be threading needles and yeah. you need that a bit of extra light. You've got the flexibility in the necks and on for, these as well. And for photography, sometimes depending on what sort of, sort of look you want to create is what, yeah. what colour temperature you would use. And a lot of them are sort of dimmable because yeah. you've got different levels of, of brightness with them as well. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, you've co covered all the bases, yes, haven't you really? we have. And talking, talking of covering all the bases, one of the most popular lights that we've had on the show so far is the, uh, these floor lamps. But you know, this one in particular, the white one, has been really, really popular. Really, really popular. So we've got both of these here. So just talk us through some of the features on these. We'll demonstrate the different lights on the other lights, but just, just talk us through some of the features on these then, Claire. So the main um, point of this is, is the flexibility of the neck. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're sort of going to be positioned in a sofa, as you saw me earlier on the sofa, is that you can sit on the sofa and you can bend that light and have that exactly uh, where you're sitting. Mm. Um, and then you've got the different colours on here. So you've got five different colour settings mm -hmm. and you've got five different brightness settings on this one. So 25 yeah, different 25 variations. Variations on mm. this one. Mm. And so you have the controls on the pole here. So you have your power button, you have your colour and then you have your brightness as well. So you've got your five different colours on there and then five different brightnesses on, e on each colour. So you can operate it from here, mm -hmm. but you also get a remote control with it, oh, which we've right. got Let over there. That. There we go. Mm. Um, so you can use the remote control as, as, as well. So on here, you've got, um, you've got a timer, you've got a 60 second timer, a 10 minute timer. Mm -hmm. You've got your brightnesses, your colors. You've got um, a 20%, 50%, 100% brightness, and then you've got your... So they're go-to brightnesses, yeah. aren't they? Rather so than tapping... Want to, you go through all five, you're yeah. like, right, I know I want 100%. Um, the, the mix colour is the daylight setting, and then you've got your cool and your warm on there as well. So if the lamp's just out of reach, perhaps you've got the yep. remote right next to you. you it's really that. easy to operate. Absolutely. You might have it at the back of the sofa. So yeah. maybe it's not that easy to get to the control panel. So you just, yeah. just aim that at the control panel yeah. and then you've got that to use instead. Fantastic. So. And you know, another great thing you can do with these lights actually, jigsaws. Yeah, that jigsaws. And you might, because you might, you want to adjust the light. You might want to adjust the light, turn it on, turn it off, change the color, but you don't want to be getting up necessarily, especially if you've got it on your lap on a trail or something like yeah. that. So having the remote could be really useful for that as well. So you can see that that's the warm light, yeah. the cool light, and then the daylight. Absolutely. And brilliant. then that's 100%, then you've got your 50 and 20, and then you go back up. That's your 100%, and that's your different colours of your light there. So um, you've got five different ones there, if you can see them. You've got one, two, three, four, five. So many variations and so many different colour temperatures. Yeah. And we were talking earlier <clears throat> about how, you know, you might be sitting and you want to use it for reading or yeah. you might want to use it for your craft or whatever. But it's good for ambient lighting, mood lighting. Uh, of course, all of the lamps, I think, on the show have the daylight they do. option, yeah. which is, I would guess, the most popular light. Colour, yeah, is it? I mean, for, for, for crafting, daylight is what you use for colour matching. Yes. Um, not necessarily just for the colour matching, but also for the clarity and the crispness of what mm, you're doing. Mm. Um, and if you're using it for reading, daylight setting just makes the letters pop out the page. Yes. And just makes it so much easier to, yeah. to, to, to be able to read. And we were talking earlier, you know, if, you, if you're like me and you wear reading glasses or something like that, you know, what I find actually is the light, even without the reading glasses, having a good light yeah. really improves, particularly when you're reading, mm. makes all the difference. Yeah. So if you've got those on as well, it's even, even better. So uh, the detail details for these of course are on the screen these have been really really popular in particular the white one has been really popular um, details are on the screen at the moment HFN127 is the number and don't forget that is available on <coughs> split pay in fact it's not on one it's not on two it's on count it three and three split pay. Ted Rogers. Mm. Three <laughs> split pays. They don't know who Ted Rogers is upstairs. <laughs> so if you are interested in those, don't forget, don't just pop it in your basket. You need to check out because putting it in your basket doesn't allocate you, if you like, the item. It's a first come, first serve basis. So that's fantastic. Now, uh, I'm just going to move this out of the way, okay, just, just for a second, because we need to get to the compact. Okay. The compact desk lamp. What's next? Now. 
So well, let's have a look at the compact. Now, of course, you've had feedback from lots and lots of people as you've been yeah. developing these lights. Yeah. What, was the th what drove you to develop these particular ones? So these ones were really because some people had said that they liked the magnifier uh, style lamp but didn't necessarily always need a magnifier. Yes. So, you know, could we have a light that sort of like was the same sort of size, mm -hmm. round head, um, but was foldable? So okay. that's, where, that's where this one came in. So Fantastic. obviously we've got it f uh, folded down flat here. Mm -hmm. So again, it's ideal if you're traveling because you can pop it in your suitcase, mm -hmm. um, even in your hand luggage. Yeah. And, um, That'd go in a drawer. Yeah, go in a drawer. If you don't want to have it out all the time, so when mm. you finish what you're doing, then just pop it in a drawer out the way. So you lift it up like this and like that. I just think that's genius. <laughs> and then the middle button is the, the switching on. And then the, you've got the little arrows here, which is what gives you the different colours. So you've got warm light, cool light, and your daylight setting there. Yeah. And then three brightness colours on each setting. Wow. So this one's got nine. Nine, nine yeah. Nine different settings. Yeah. Also, you can angle it forwards mm -hmm. like that. And then you can angle the head up as well. Or you can, or you can come down, uh, depending on where it is that you want, you want to have it, have it positioned. Absolutely amazing. And uh, I love as well, on mm -hmm. all of your lights, you've got sort of this, this touch system to yeah. operate the controls. Yeah. And the symbols that you've used as well, they're very, very self-explanatory. Yeah. They're simple to use. You don't need a lot of pressure to activate them. No. And anybody could pick that up and, and very quickly learn how to operate it. So that's really, really useful indeed. And I love the fact it, it folds essentially completely flat. Yeah. So it could go in a drawer. It can go in your camper or caravan. It could go in your car. You know the little pocket at the back of your seat? Yeah. You can pop it in there, pop couldn't you? There There's well. all sorts of uses. You could even pop it down, you know, the side of next to your sofa or next to your chair in your yeah. lounge or something like that. Absolutely brilliant to have that compact LED desk lamp. DZN147 is the item number. 45.99 is the price. Now, another light that's been really, really popular on the show, in addition, of course, to the desk lamp, uh, the, the floor Lino's. lamp, is, and I think we knew this was coming, Claire, didn't we? We did. We knew this was coming. It is the chameleon. Magnifier. <laughs> There's no matter. It just looks like a lamp to me. Yeah. It looks like a lamp. So How does that work? Talk us through it. So this is what's quite nice about this one. So it, it is a magnifier, but if you don't always need the magnifier, you can use it as a lamp mm -hmm. and then keep the lid down as, as we've got it on now. Let's have a look at that. Then. Um, and then if not, you, you know, you lift the lid up and then use it as, as a magnifier. Mm -hmm. So if you lift up your lid here, then you've got so your, that just pops your up. magnifier. Yeah, just pop okay. that up. So again, you've got your controls here. So yeah. you've got your on and off button in the middle mm -hmm. and then the arrows for your different colours. So you can see the colour changing on, on the desk there. So that's your warm, that's your daylight and that's your cool light there. And then you've got your brightness, three brightnesses on each colour as well on that. So you can see the differences there. It's also got a three times magnification on, so it's a pretty high magnifier. A lot yeah. of the ones on the market are 1.75. So this is so it's, sorry, you said it was three times magnification. Yeah. So it, so whatever the that size. That is high. Yeah, isn't it? that is high. So a lot of the ones that are on the market are like 1.75. Right. And this one is 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 quite a high one, which has it's been really popular, I think, because yeah. the magnification is quite high on it. And actually, this has been really popular, I think, previously on our sister. Yes. Channel hasn't it? It has. Um, yeah. Sewing streets. Because sold lots. if you are going to be doing things like threading needles, yep. for instance, yeah. How useful we've got is one, that? We've got one here. Oh, where we can see how uh, how well you can you can actually see the uh, head of the needle, the eye of the needle. The eye of the needle. Let's have a look. Let's put that down there. Can you see. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, we can see it. We can see it. So you think there like you come out and then see in there. So that's going to make that much easier. It is. To be able to. Isn't be it? Able to. That's really, really useful. And of course, think of all the different uses for having the magnifier. You might even use it for just reading. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe there's some particularly small print uh, in one of the books that you're looking at. How useful is that, having the magnifier 
on there. And the light built in as well, I think it's a great combination. Because the other thing is, if you've got a separate light and a magnifier, you end up with the shadow of the magnifier sometimes, don't you? If you've got like a magnifying glass or a separate magnifier and you've got a light, you end up with the shadow of that on whatever it is you're looking at. Having it built in, okay. you don't have that problem. So you can there see there, go. you can see to obviously the left how, how much smaller it would be without the magnifier Fantastic. and how that makes it much easier. Yeah, look at the difference. Easier to read. Look at the difference between what's through the magnifier yeah. and what's next to it. That's huge, isn't it? So, you know, if people have been struggling to read or to, to, to work on, on, their, on their crafting projects, then this, this is brilliant because it means that they can still, that's still be able brilliant. to do those so things. So thinking about, you know, threading a needle, that's one thing. Maybe you are a jewellery maker and you're dealing with intricate sort of designs and so on and so forth and you're connecting those yeah. gemstones together or you're doing nails, mm. you're doing your nails, whatever it is. What a useful thing. And again, I love the fact that it's easy to operate. Uh, if you're interested in this, don't hesitate to get this in your basket quickly. Two Q, T, even Q, N, I need the magnifier. <laughs> TQN186. This has been one of the most popular items on the show so far. And it's available on split pay. Oh, wow. Do you know what that means? You can pay $22.99 today, and you can pay the other $22.99 in four weeks. We like that, don't Amazing. we? Amazing. So, um, so we've had a look at that. We're going to move on now. The clip-on magnifier, clip -on I've been told. Magnifier. She said, what are you doing with that? Put that one away <laughs> got the for a minute. One. <laughs> right, there we go. There we go. That's better. I've got it now. So the clip-on magnifier is okay. a rechargeable magnifier. So um, you've got this clip here mm -hmm. that you can, you can clip on. So we've got it clipped onto a, like a box here. Yeah, just but to it, sort of demonstrate. That yeah, you can just that you can clip it on. things that you can clip it onto. Mm. Um, it's ideal to clip onto, say, a book. Mm -hmm. uh, we had it onto the scoreboard mm -hmm. that we got on the desk earlier. Um, does it, it clips onto the scoreboard okay, does it? Yeah, it because does. The scoreboard, because scoreboards, really it's a good quality scoreboard, so it's, not, it's a nice thick scoreboard, mm. but as surfaces go, you know, that's, it's a slim surface, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's very slim. So then if you're working on that, then yours, you've got the, ah. got the magnifier that you can then have. I love it. That. And, you know, you've got to stop it slipping around because these are yeah. all good quality. Yeah, it's you've got some like pads about in to there. Put the little sort of like non-slip pads. The we non-slip pads. We were trying to think of the name earlier. Yeah, we'll we? stick with the non-slip non -slip pads. pads yeah. yeah. And so you've got um, a light on there. It does need to be charged. We didn't have a lot of time to charge it this morning, but you no. do have a light on here. Yeah. Um, and that's a dimmable daylight. The light essentially is the same as the, or very similar to the other yeah. light that we've already but it's shown just, you. But it's just the daylight setting on this one, and mm. then you can dim, dim that up and down. We got it very early this morning, and we didn't have a chance to charge it up. No. But within... Uh, well, I think it's the maximum charge time is a couple of hours. Yeah. You charge it up in a few minutes to get some light. Just a little and bit it light, lasts, yeah. what, six to uh, eight yeah, hours? Yeah, six to eight hours mm. on this one, depending on what, bright, what brightness you have it on. Mm. So the magnification on this one is 1.3 times. Okay. So a little bit um, less mm -hmm. um, than, than, than when we when we looked at before. Yeah. But it's still, you know, a good good magnification because you can, do, you can see there. Uh, how it's magnifying those gemstones. So you can see, obviously, whoop, oh, you can smell them all over the desk now. Well, don't worry, we'll be able to find them. <laughs> we'll be able to find, find them, them because the we've got our magnifiers. <laughs> there, so you can see it's still... Chucking all, everything all over the set. I know, sorry. Um, oh, we found a diamond. <laughs> We can check the quality of that diamond and then we can. that magnifier. There we are. We can see the colour of the stone. We can. We can see how many carrots it is. Can't we? Oh, yeah. So you can use this, of course, for all the usual things. You can use it for reading. You can use it for threading a needle. You can use it for jewellery makers. All sorts of things that you can use that for. And it's really versatile because it clips in. So next up... Is the small... Is this the one we're going to next? Oh, good. I've been waiting for this one. This is one of my favourites. <laughs> Keep picking it up. She keeps telling me to put it back down again. Uh, put that down. So this is the mini clip-on light. The mini clip-on. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, you've got three ways to use this. So you can stand it like this. Mm -hmm. um, you can clip it on as yeah. well. So again, it's got the little pads on there to make the what a surface that you're clipping it onto, you know, not be marked or damaged. I should say as well, that's a big 
uh, clip yeah. in terms of it's got a big depth. opening, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so that's six, six centimetres that depth. Mm -hmm. Um, on the other option is there is a screw hole on the back there mm -hmm. uh, that you can then put a screw in and then you can you can hook it onto the wall on Fantastic. that one as well. So you can kind of have sort of a semi-permanent location for it yeah. but you keep it in the house where you're using it a lot. Yes. But if you need to grab it and move it, you can put and it on the desk, you can clip off. it on the bed head. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. Again, you can take it travelling because mm. you? you can use it in your caravan. Yeah. Tracy, using one in a boat. Aren't you, Tracy? If you're on a plane, maybe, on a plane, you can, yes. You can clamp that onto the like little uh, pull the tray down table, table that you've Brilliant. as well. So just so you know, if you don't want the overhead light to be annoying everybody, yeah. you've got your own little light. That's a great there. idea, actually, because um, you know, again, you might want to do. There's all sorts of things you might want to do on the plane, and it's a localized light, isn't it? Yeah. Instead of having that, like you said, the overhead light, yeah. which is generally light in the cabin, that's giving you the localized light, and it's the light that's where you. you need it. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. And well, don't forget, if you want this as well, uh, DNM175 is the item number, 27.99. I really, really like this. So you've got different colours as well. You've got warm light, daylight and cool light on there as well. And then you keep your finger on each one and then that dims right down. That's one of the features, actually, that throughout the lighting range I really, really like, you, is that you just hold your finger, finger on, on it, it and, then it, just dims. and it gradually yeah. changes. Yeah, and then you just take it off when you get it to the And I like the fact that you want. can cycle through yeah. the light choices as well. Until you get to the one. And that's, that's the thing, you know, whereas in the past a lot of the craft lights have just been the daylight setting. Yes. And sometimes people, you know, these days people suffer a lot with, um, you know, their eyes and headaches and things like that. So sometimes a really bright light would, would be too much for them so yes. the fact that they've got the choices of going through and finding what's comfortable for their eyes yes. is really important Absolutely. feature that we've applied to the lights we we'll love it we we'll love it don't forget putting it in your basket is not enough you need to check out the basket because we do have limited stock of these sorts of items um, and putting it in your basket um, it just it just it doesn't sort of allocate it to you you do need to make sure you check out it's again fastest fingers first check out so that's really important uh, so we've got a, another message. We've got a message from Sam. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Uh, really enjoying this morning's wake-up show. Can we see more Ben in the future? Oh, my goodness. I hope they're all listening to They've this. have got to be fan club out there today. <laughs> Lovely, upbeat start to the day. Oh, Sam in Lincoln. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. It depends on if Laura lets me come back. If she lets me come back, you'll see more of <laughs> She likes that everybody thinks that she has all this control. Ah. She says from her ivory tower, stroking the cat. <laughs> Mr. Bond. Yeah, she does. She's the boss, isn't she? Got to do yeah. what she says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so before we move on to show you, again, some more native lighting, we're going to be back in just a few minutes after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. After the success that we had last Monday with my jewellery Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewellery Maker Warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewellery Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you, the last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column consite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker Vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. 
Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Yippee! So this is my new home here at Hobbymaker. Looks pretty nice. Good morning. Where have you been? If you've only just joined us, come on. You're running out of time now. You need to be in six o'clock. We've been here, haven't we? We we've, have. Well, we've been here before six. <laughs> we were early be morning. <laughs> That's me and the lovely Claire Donnelly over here from Native Lighting, <laughs> who's been showing us a wide array of fantastic all use really but particularly craft use lamps and clay you were saying to us earlier that you were uh, the way that the business and the brand has developed is you've talked a lot to crafters because it's crafter based is it's really aimed at crafters the lighting and you've listened to what they want in their lighting and you've developed the range yes to accommodate that and these two at the end are no exception and these are quite frankly two of the widest lights <laughs> I think I've ever seen in my life you could land an aircraft they are quite on that, big you? and that's a that's a, a clamp desk lamp isn't it it is yes. so just talk us through that what have we got there so this light has got an 80 centimeter shade so you've got a really wide coverage of light here mm -hmm. so if you work on big projects um, yep. you know might be making a big quilt or a big collage or um, you might even want a nice big um, spance of light across like maybe two computers if you're working with two computers yeah yeah so this is a, used a lot over, over desks as well mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. We talked so, earlier as well, if you were doing something like dressmaking yeah. or something like that, and you wanted to put, you know, the material on a bust or something like that, you could put, yeah. drop the lamp because, down. Because it's and very it angleable. Well. So yeah. you've got the gooseneck there. Yeah. And so you can you can turn the light to the side. Yeah. You can you can have it upwards yeah. so that you've, you've, you've got it up up here. Yeah. Uh, so many. We could, this part of the neck is obviously a gooseneck. Yeah. We've got a thicker gooseneck here. Who's so, eyeing well. those up for the studio? Ah, yeah, they'd be very really nice useful. over the um, over the desk, over the controls. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> yeah. And that, and that's quite a chunky depth. Yes. Like, what I mean is, it, the clamp will clamp to something quite chunky. Yeah. So if I, I'll it? take one it's off here, and I, can, I can I can show um, yeah. that the depth of the clamp. So that that clamp yeah. um, depth is, uh, oh gosh, I'm off the top of my head, I think this one's about nine centimeters. This one. Okay. So we'll go on to something re really deep. Yeah. And then if you don't want to clamp it, you can actually attach it to the wall. So I forgot about that. That's yeah. brilliant. If you maybe haven't yeah. got a lot of space on your desk yeah. um, and don't want to take it up with, with, with this, then obviously you can clamp it straight up to the wall. I love it. Well. And actually, you can if you were going to do that and you didn't want this at the bit on the bottom, it just screws on, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, so then if not, so you've you got wanted the, the clamp to, bit to, to screw in there to as that you well. Could. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Well, um, don't forget, if you want to get your hands on the uh, the wide uh, desk lamp, the black one is the one that's on screen at the moment. And when I say the black one's the one on screen, I'm referring to the code that was on the screen for checking out. And we're going to add on there as well the white one too, which is just coming up on the screen now. FVN124 for the white, uh, wide task uh, lamp. Um, yeah, FVM124. Uh, 11999 and that's available 0% interest and take advantage of split pay if if you're new to hobby maker split pay is a great way to spread the cost of your hobby maker purchases and it's available on a tremendous amount of items so in this instance what you do is you pay 39.99 today and then you'd pay again another 39.99 in four weeks time and again uh, four weeks after that so 11999 of course you could be saving 20 five pounds on that one lucky viewer uh, don't forget um, Adam's gone oh yeah I forgot about that yeah. don't forget about it it's it's 25 pounds anybody that checks out today we're going to pick somebody at random and one of the latest shows give you 25 pound credit um, back to uh, your hobby maker account uh -huh. so you might save 25 quid there you go and so uh, we're gonna move on now I love this as well we're gonna move on to the travel lamp Right, okay, so the travel lamp is a brilliant lamp if you... It's genius. Um, you need portability, really. Yes. 
So you've got, you've got it with this, haven't you? Yeah, so you've got your little desk lamp. So you lift that up mm -hmm. and then you turn that on and you've got three different colours again on there. Warm light, daylight and cool light on there. Again, you keep your finger on to dim it down on, take your finger off and then back on to full power on each, each colour. It's rechargeable and takes a couple of hours to charge. And then once it's charged up, that will last for eight hours. But it's not just a little travel lamp like that. It's also a torch. So you tap it twice on mm -hmm. there. And then you've got this brilliant torch that will go a really, really long way. It's got a really big beam on it as well. Well, that's really bright yeah. for Hollywood <laughs> with those. Um, so this is a brilliant lamp because you know you can use it for for your, for your, as your craft lamp when you've got it up, up like this, but it might be that you're going on holiday, um, you're going camping. Mm -hmm. um, I said earlier maybe take it on holiday and if you're sat on your balcony reading a book, mm. then uh, you can you can use it for that. You can use it as your desk, your bedside lamp on holiday. So many different. A lady told me that she uses it to uh, walk down to the greenhouse and water her plants at night so oh, she can see where she's going. That's a good idea. And it slips nicely into your craft bag. <laughs> it does. As well, doesn't it? Yeah. Because of the size of it. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it's the size of a torch. Yeah. And what I was quite impressed as well with was because it's, it's got a very narrow base. And I thought, oh, you know, is that going to be stable? Is it going to fall? But it doesn't look. No, no. That's really good. Look at that. So I was the, lucky there. Yeah, you were lucky. <laughs> no, but look at that. That's really good. I love the sleek design of that. I love the way that that folds down. And how we've designed um, all the lights in Native is that that they're quite versatile and can be used for more than one thing. Yes. Um, so that's like, we don't want them to, to, to look like just a lamp that you get out when you want to craft, but it's like, you know, let's, let's get a lamp that if somebody purchases, it's got more than one use. Yes. And that's what we've tried to do with, with, with the lights in our range here. It's yeah. to always, make, you know, we don't just take any light on and we, we consider it quite carefully about how, how, how we want it to look and if it fits with our range as mm, well. So mm. it's, got to, it's got to be part of what we feel is the whole native look. Yes, and uh, uh, what I love about your lighting range, not only are they easy to use, they're sturdy, but they're lightweight. You often have a range of colour temperatures. You've got a range of, you know, they often can be dimmable. Yeah. But they all have something unique yeah. about them, whether it's the gooseneck, whether it's the size yeah. of the light, whether it's how compact they are. Um, whether it's because they're rechargeable, whether it's because they fold, fold flat yeah. and, you know, go into your luggage or whatever it is. They all have unique features and I absolutely love that. And this is no exception. So if you want to get your hands on the two-in-one travel lamp, 49.99 or 0% on split pay. It's on split pay, 24.99. Of course, if you win the 25 quid, it's only going to cost you the 20 quid. Yeah, that's amazing. Brilliant. So, moving on, because we're rapidly running out of time. My word, the time is absolutely flying by. This is fantastic value for money. This is the most affordable lamp that we have on yeah, the show. Yeah, this is... through. Yeah, this is, um, is our LED desk lamp. So, as you said, it's one of our most affordable ones because it doesn't have all the features and functions of, of the other lights. But it's got daylight which is the important light that you need when you're crafting for mm -hmm. colour matching and for clarity. And you've, just, you've got an on and off switch and it's got the, the gooseneck on there as well. So you can angle that, you can twist it to the right, you can twist it to the left. Um, and yeah, it's, it's simple, it's USB powered, mm -hmm. but it's still got the power of the light and it carries the same two year guarantee as all the other products do oh, as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. A two year guarantee yeah it's not very often that you buy really anything that's got a two-year guarantee that's absolutely amazing and I think that's quite important um, you know and I think it's nice that people get to see the lights on on hobby maker because quite often when you look online and you see a light it's quite different um, just looking at a photo to actually seeing somebody use it play with it and actually see what you're getting mm. and know that you're going to get that that guarantee of the two years as well I think that's absolutely amazing. And of course, because it's USB powered, yeah. 
it means that yes, you can plug it into the mains if you've got the little, uh, oh, the little sort of adapter or yeah. whatever it is. You can plug it into a power bank, which was something we talked about earlier. So you're perhaps away and you not don't have an immediate power source. Yeah. You can plug it into a little power bank, but you can of course plug it into your computer, your laptop, your sewing machine if you've got a USB, USB there, port yeah. on that as well. There's all sorts of ways to power this, and of course a lot of sockets at home now also have a USB adapter to them as well, so you can plug it directly into the wall. Absolutely love and, that. And another thing is if um, you go to classes in village halls, there's never really a lot of available plugs. No. So if you've got your own power pack, yeah. you can run from that. And you absolutely don't have brilliant. to worry about being near a plug or fighting for the plugs. I love it. I love it. And at 25.99, it's a steal. Yeah. Definitely. And if you get the 25 quid, it's not yeah, 9 Yeah, exactly. Unless you <laughs> post a packet of 395, <laughs> which is for 24 hours. Brilliant. What are we moving on to next then? We're moving on the, to that one. Which the we twisty need... slim clamp lamps which we need we're to... moving on to next. And here it is, the slim... Oh, hang on. I've got to swap the power over. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Plug it in. There we go. She's got it. Is it in? Yeah. Good job. Right. Talk to us about this one, Claire. <laughs> okay, so this one is, again, a really flexible one. So you can position it exactly where you want. So you can either have the long reach or you can bend it as you've got the black one bent there and have it on, on a smaller reach. Ideal for wrapping around, sewing machines, great over laptops, computers, uh, for drawing. Mm. Um, They've got a spring clamp on, these ones here. Well, they're really vert versatile for that, aren't they? Because yeah. you've got that sort of a bulldog clip. Yeah, it's like a... Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But it's a deep one, isn't it? It is a deep one, yeah. It gives, gives you about, I think it's six, five to six centimetres on that one. It does. Um, it's a really strong one, so yeah. sturdy, and it, it clamps you know, well to very thin. It'll go on to something as small as a centimetre and something as big as six centimetres. And it clamps onto our trusty crafting desk. Yep. Yeah, so it's it's really got some uh, some wellit there. And you tap it to turn it on and off. And, and you hold you your finger on it and it dims it. Finger on it dims down. That's brilliant. So this is available in two colours, isn't it? This yep. is the black one, of course. Um, but also we have the white one as well, which is here. It kind of blends into the background there, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, let me just move that out of the way a little bit. There we go. Oops, there we go. So uh, the details for the white slim clamp lamp. AXN131 49.99 or 0% interest on split pay two payments of 24.99 so don't forget if you've got items in your basket get those items checked out that's really really important having an item in your basket does not uh, sort of put it aside for you it's just that it's first come first serve so get your items checked out it's not guaranteed to be yours until you check out and don't forget you could be the winner of the 25 pound credit uh, if you check out during the show well we've had a fantastic day here today it's been brilliant with uh, with claire donnelly being here with us today from native lighting um she's going to be back with us again i'm sure in the not too distant yeah, future aren't you yeah. i've thoroughly enjoyed uh, going through all the different lights and i love the flexibility we're rapidly running out of time it's going to be time in a moment to hand over to uh jewelry maker um so uh or sewing street one of the two but we'll see you soon <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.